Hello, it's Shane here from Lonely Viking. Uh, it's been a while since I uh, made a video, but uh, here we are. And so welcome to the Lonely Viking channel where we teach you all kinds of things about web design and um, how to build websites. Um, and so today I thought I would share a little bit about hosting. In a lot of the Facebook groups that I'm a part of, um, Elementor, Beaver Builder, all kinds of WordPress um, groups, there are a lot of people asking questions about hosting, which is the best hosting, all these kinds of things. Now, it's a very subjective um, topic, and so there's no best hosting. A lot of people get, host, uh, get hosting in one place and they have an amazing experience, and other people at the exact same host have a terrible experience. So you find a lot of subjective um, information out there. Anyway, I'm just going to tell you about what we use and then show you how to set that up. And so um, we were on SiteGround. Um, we do still have some websites on SiteGround. And SiteGround is cool. It's great cPanel hosting. And I must say, one thing about SiteGround, I really like the support. They gave great support. Um, very quick to answer. Um, but I just found that the performance wasn't really good for a lot of our clients who have high-end stuff uh, where performance really matters. And performance does matter because it, your, your search engine rankings come in to play and all these kinds of things. So we have moved a lot of our sites onto Cloudways. We also have some other sites running on RunCloud with DigitalOcean servers. Um, here in Cloudways, which I'm going to show you now, we have a bunch of websites, a bunch of servers, and um, and those we we using Vulture. So essentially, Cloudways and something like RunCloud are basically like a graphical interface uh, that you use in order to and you use those to run the servers so that you don't have to do any command line stuff. And so I'm going to log into Cloudways. I'm going to show you how to set up a new server and how to install WordPress um, and show you how easy that is. So let us, let me log in. There we go. Got my stuff there using LastPass. So I'm going to log in. Now I'm just going to show you on a sort of a test account so that um, you don't see all of our stuff. But so over here you'll see you've got servers. You'll see here we've got two servers um, on this account. And then um, over here we have applications and then projects. So there's three layers here. You can have applications hosted on servers. Um, and you can have applications um, basically structured within projects is it's like a folder kind of layout so that you can even if your project even if your applications are on different servers you can have them in the same projects right so that's quite nice um, if you are used to cpanel based hosting you're going to be a little bit lost probably when you get in here but you can uh, you will get it quite quickly but i'm going to try to show you a little bit of what's going on so basically what you would do is you would say you would let's say you get in here you've got no servers you're going to say add a server so now you've got a whole bunch of options to choose from you're going to select an application that you want to put on your server and so um, you can go and install WordPress on a server you can install more than one WordPress instance on a server um, but when you create a server you're going to have to put a um, an application on there. So now what there is, uh, these these install automatically, it's very easy. You've got uh, version 5.0.1 of WordPress. This is just a straight WordPress, nothing added. Um, here you can choose to install it with WooCommerce. Here you can choose to install a multi-site version which will um, edit the, P the WP config file to make this a multi-site installation. Uh, sorry, actually, this this version here has some Cloudways plugins on it. So one of them is the Breeze um, caching plugin, and then over here there's a there's a clean installation which has no Cloudways optimization whatsoever. So I'm just going to click over here and say 
uh, install this one and so here it's just telling me use some user-friendly names so um, we're going to name our app here so we're going to just say test WP and now we're going to name our server uh, I'm just going to call this um, uh, YouTube whoa I'm going to call that YouTube test server and then you can pick over here so basically uh, I would actually recommend not using Linode because we used it for a project where we needed um, DNS settings to update really quickly and the Linode DNS uh, was extremely slow like like really really slow prohibit prohibitively slow so here we use Vulture but on RunCloud we use DigitalOcean and I must say it's kind of negligible AWS and Google start to become a lot more expensive so um, actually maybe we should just go and have a look at pricing quickly uh, cloudways.com let's have a look at the pricing okay so as I was showing you 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 can choose from these hosts I mean these um servers um, and then you run those from within cloudways so it's pretty affordable to start off on this ten dollar a month plan oh, man um, and as I said you can host more than one WordPress website on a server and the nice thing about Cloudways is that when you you get to watch your server resources in the back end and then when your server starts to become overloaded you can upgrade to the next one um, and so you can upgrade and spend more money as you're getting more traffic or as you're getting more um, websites um, in your business so so that's something that's really nice about Cloudways um, and so that's what we've done we start off on this one and then as the project grows or as uh, you know as a client's website starts to get more and more and more traffic then we'll start to move them up um, the pricing is kind of similar so DigitalOcean is the cheapest if I remember correctly uh, Vulture is 11 bucks, uh, Linode is 12 so for me I would say DigitalOcean I know lots of people love that or Vulture we're using this Vulture one on here and so that's pretty cool uh, so just decide um, okay so you're gonna pick a server and then you can choose a location which is cool so let's say your your client is based in on the west coast of the US you can choose San Francisco if they're on the east coast you can choose New York um, there's there's Toronto we can't see the bottom there because of my screen recording but there's Toronto and there's Bangalore um, if you want to be on the subcontinent and then there's Amsterdam um, and London if you're in Europe um, and then Singapore if you kind of in Australasia sort of uh, Southeast Asia area um, so there's no Australia so that kind of sucks if you have Australian clients or if you're based in Australia uh, we're based in South Africa there's nothing here um, but we use a content distribution network that delivers content in Australia, in South Africa, wherever you need it to be, so that can be overcome. So you just choose whatever is closest to where your client will be or where you will, where you are based, where most of your visitors will be based, actually. Um, and so then there's a button down here um, that says Launch Now. Unfortunately, you can't see that because of uh, the screen recording. Um, constraints but so you're gonna say launch now it's gonna add a server so it says it can take approximately seven minutes so I'm just gonna pause and then we're gonna come back okay so the server setups complete um, so let's go in and have a look so um, if you you can see here it says uh, www1 so it's saying there's one application installed on this server uh, so I'm going to click on the server and then I'm going to show you around a little quickly okay so these are the different options within your server you can set up backups you can set up SMTP for your uh, emails to send out um, from your your WordPress installations etc you can add different services in here okay 
So you can see there are a whole bunch of services here. It's running on a, with a, Apache. It's got Varnish caching running. Um, all of those things. Um, and then there's monitoring. Okay. So monitoring basically just shows you um, how your server is doing. It's got no data at the moment. But basically you would see like these spikes and stuff. And it will tell you um, how much CPU you're using. And if, if it's like close to 80% or 100% um, and these spikes are like not spikes anymore but they're kind of like um, a trough like that then you basically it's time to upgrade your server. Um, okay, let's go and have a look at applications. This is where you will see the WordPress that was installed. So these are all the applications installed on all the servers. All right. So that's why projects comes in handy because this is not showing you based on servers. It's just all your applications. Um, and so when you create projects, it, it bundles the ones together that you want together. So let's say you've got a whole bunch of clients uh, in one category, but they've each got their own server. Then you can bundle all those into a project uh, and you'll be able to see them easily. So let's go and find our test WPs right there. So if you click on that, it's going to show you the details. It's given you login detail. Uh, it, it's created users and all of these things. So it's giving you your, your database names and password. And this is your WordPress admin panel. So if you want to visit the WordPress website, you go like that. And it's quite cool. It's got this Cloudways URL and it acts as a staging site. And so you can actually build your site there uh, until you're ready to point your domain name to it. And once you do, your site goes live. And so it's quite easy. It works nicely as a staging site. So there you go. You see it's just vanilla WordPress. Um, if you want to log in, you can click. You, you just click here to copy the password. Remember your um, username. And then you just click here. It will take you to the admin login. And so, just going to paste in the password and then log in. And it's as easy as that to have WordPress. I'm going to show you quickly how to, in, how to create another instance of WordPress on that same server. But that will be exactly the same um, way that you, you go to log in. So you'll copy the password um, and just click there. It's going to take you to the admin login. And that's how easy it is to get to your dashboard and start building out your website in WordPress. So that's really cool. Um, okay, so let's go now to servers. Let's go here to our YouTube test server. Um, and we're going to say, actually, you can do this from anywhere. You don't have to be inside the server. I think you get to choose the server later. So you can add an application. And then you select the server you want to put it on, add application, and then it's just going to bring you to this application page. You're going to select which one you want to install. And again, you've got the Cloudways optimized version of WordPress there. Um, you've got WooCommerce, you've got multi-site, and you've got a clean installation. Let's do just a clean one this time. And then you can say, WP test 2 whatever you want to call your whatever your website is going to be called essentially um, and then if you've got projects you can choose a project that you want to um, put it into over here and then you're just going to click add application and it's going to take like a minute or two and you're going to have a whole new WordPress installation and that's how easy it is to install WordPress um, yeah there you see it says two minutes and so that's basically Cloudways. That's that's essentially it. I mean, there's there's a bunch of other things like, you know, setting up your SMTP and your emails, and I can show you all that if if you're interested. But um, yeah, if you if you're considering hosting, uh, I mean, like Cloudways works well for us. But as I said in the beginning, it's very subjective. A, a lot of people I've seen have not had a good experience on Cloudways. We have, and a lot of other people we know do as well. Um, so it's worth checking out. I have put a link in the in the description of this video. Uh, there's an affiliate link. There's a non-affiliate link. Um, I'm not doing this video in order to make affiliate sales, but if you uh, decide you want to use that link, that's cool. Thank you. Um, 
I just genuinely, I see so many people asking about hosting that I thought I would show what CloudRes is because a lot of people recommend it, but maybe you've actually never seen what it looks like um, under the hood um, and you're not exactly sure what it all entails. And so I wanted just to make that video. I hope that it's helpful. Um, if you like this channel, just subscribe. Um, and we'll be trying to do a whole lot more videos now in 2019. It's part of the plan. And so if you like the video, give it a like. Um, if you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. But thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Have a great day. Cheers.